just trying to find my center of gravity. What do you do to hustle a buck? Apple, pomme. Palm. Je mange la pomme rouge. She mange la pomme rouge. Nous avons mangé les pommes rouges. Nous avons les pommes rouges. Can I get you anything? Anything? That's kind of a dangerous question, isn't it? Actually, I'm just waiting for someone. Thank you. And I see him now. Oh, yes. That's Mr. Lane. He usually has a great goose vodka martini with a couple of olives on the side. Nice. Bring us two, please, and immediately tell me your name. <laughs> Chloe. Chloe. It's a very pretty name. Thank you. Thank you. Alan, good to see you again. Uh, Alec. Alec, Alec, Dillon. Yes. I'm so, so sorry. I hope I didn't keep you waiting long. Oh, I've just been here a few minutes. Oh, that's good. That's good. Thank you. Been uh, enjoying the view. All of them. This is quite a watering hole. Well, it comes wrapped in a very nice package, but the big red bow is pretty expensive. Well, isn't that always the case? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, left messages for you at the number you gave me, and uh, I followed through and tried to find you on the company line. I hope you don't mind. I'm glad you did that. You know, it's a bold move on your part to come all the way out here. You took a big leap of faith. I like that. It shows determination. Thank you. I figure if a position doesn't happen in your company, I can uh, get a job here caddying. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you like it, Mr. Lennon. Thank you. Chloe's father runs the club here. I suspect that he's grooming her to take over one day. <laughs> I'll check on you both later. Thank you. Watch it now there, Alec. I think of her as if she were my daughter. In that case, I would treat her with the utmost respect. <laughs> to you, Mr. Linney. I thought I saw you sitting over here. Hey, darling, oh. let me introduce you to Alec Foster. Now, he's the young man that I told you about that I met on my last Shreveport trip. My pleasure to meet you. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Oh, how rude of me. I'm so sorry. Magda. <laughs> ah, delightful sounding name. Thank you. Magda. It's Magdalena. My father's French and my mother's Spanish. It's a lethal combo there, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> if you only knew, Alec, if you only knew. <laughs> well, clearly you both have business to discuss. Well, I'll be home shortly. OK. <laughs> If Mr. Foster doesn't have dinner plans this evening, perhaps we should invite him over. Yes, that's a good idea. How about it, Alf? Are you sure? I don't want to inconvenience you on such short notice. Oh, no, not at all. 7.30, then. I'll bring the wine. Great. See you then. You can be a walking refrigerator, that one. <laughs> but I suppose that you want to go check out the company before making a final decision. Well, sir, I didn't leap of faith all the way over here to say no. Well, when can you start? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I already have. <laughs> Drink to that. Cheers. <sighs> well, no, order anything you want here. You're my guest here at the club. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Linney. Would you like another beer, Mr. Foster? Hi. <laughs> Chloe, let me ask you a question. How much would it cost for a guy like me to become a member of this club? Sir? You know, 10, 20, 30,000. <laughs> 150,000 to join. <laughs> would you like another beer? No, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> but uh, could you help me to find a good bottle of wine? See, I'm going out to dinner with Mr. and Mrs. Linney tonight. 
And to be truthful, I'm not really up in my vintages. Well, we do have an excellent wine selection here at the club, international and domestic. What do uh, Mr. and Mrs. Linney prefer? Um, Mrs. Linney prefers a rich and spicy structure. Uh -huh. About a month ago, them and another couple came into the restaurant for dinner, and Mrs. Linney ordered some of our most expensive bottles. They ordered two bottles of the 1995 Chateau Valajot Saint Emilion. Seven hundred a pop. Two bottles, huh? Mm. You know, after a couple of glasses, Mrs. Linney is a pretty enjoyable person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know she's the money behind. You know she's the money behind Aquatine Moto Coaches. I didn't know that. Her father started it back in the 60s, I think. Interesting. What about Mr. Linney? Married the boss's daughter. You know, I shouldn't be talking about our members. They kind of pay for privacy on top of everything else. I understand. Hey, sorry, I didn't want to put you in a situation. No. I'm just trying to impress the man here. No. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to get two of Mrs. Lenny's favorite bottles from here. I, um, you know what? After all the traveling I've been doing lately, I, I kind of put a big dent in this card. Perhaps a bottle that isn't so expensive, then. No, 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 I can figure this out, see? I mean, <laughs> there's nothing like kissing up to the boss's wife, you know? Mm. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a bottle that you can take with you, and, um, I'll put it on my personal thing. You do that for me? Mm. I mm. can't let you do that. No, 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 I just couldn't let you no, do that. No, it's okay, it's really? okay. But look, you have mm. to give me a chance to make it up to you, though with interest. The interest being you go to dinner with me. 